Alright guys and welcome to the latest pickups video. Now I'm going to be like absolutely beaming all through this video because this morning I finally passed my driving test sixth time. <laughs> it's taken me quite a few attempts but with you know the persistence, perseverance, determination I've finally got there and oh my god it's not been easy for me <laughs> at all. I've had like my anxiety and nerves have really like made the whole experience like difficult for me but I've, I'm just so happy it's been such a good day um, seeing my family bringing them good news and yeah it's such an amazing feeling once you do pass oh my god I'm so I'm sure some of you guys can agree people who've already passed and uh, yeah I'm so happy so um, yeah anyway on with the pickups <laughs> so that's why I'm so happy um, so I'll start with last Saturday's Kabu uh, I've got a Teletubby, <laughs> this one is the purple one, Tinky Winky, uh, this was only a pound. I don't know if you get between 20 and 30 pounds for the set of these, there's a set of four. Um, so I might wait until I've got the whole set before I sell them on I think. Um, yeah, I've checked the tag, it is 1996 I believe, yeah that's right. Um, so yeah, they're really valuable these uh, old ones. So yeah, I could not leave that behind so I picked up a uh, Teletubby. I absolutely love Teletubbies as a kid. Um, I also found this. It's a little handheld Plants vs Zombie game. It was only uh, 20p as well. So I had to pick it up. I've never actually played Plants vs Zombies before. Um, but yeah, I just thought it like, looked cool. And I looked on the back and there is the Burger King logo. And it says 2015. So this looks like a Burger King toy from a couple of years ago. So not too bad. I like my little handhelds. They're really cool. Um, I love the McDonald's ones. Uh, I've got more to show you. Uh, in a bit as well of the McDonald's ones and I also found a PS4 game Killzone Shadowfall and I think you can see there there is like a bit of a dent in it I know it's had a bit of a knot but it was only four pounds so I thought that was all right and it's all complete I mean you can't really call them instructions nowadays you literally don't really get instructions nowadays with the latest games but um yeah and especially because it was a steelbook as well, I thought I was alright. I like uh, the old steelbooks and stuff, so I picked that up. Right, onto the Sunday car boot. The first things I spotted were a couple of Minecraft things. So, first we have a little, like, figure set. This was, like, detached from the uh, cardboard. Um, but I think it, like, has never been opened before anyway. It looks pretty cool. We've got the guy, I think he's called Steve. <laughs> so he's got, like, a little treasure chest, a crafting bench... A sword, a pickaxe and a bed. Uh, yeah, it's a little survival pack, this one is. Um, I think I might take this out of the packet and discard the packaging and I might have these as display models, to be honest. I think these would look really cool on display, so I do really like that. And with it, I also got Minecraft card game. I've never seen this before and it's all like brand new as well. It's all, you can tell, like the cards are all still sealed and stuff. So it says in the instruction booklet, that players mine resource cards and then use these cards to craft craft cards and when you craft a craft card you earn points I know that sounds a bit complicated but basically yeah I think you have to like collect resources you know such as like the stone things like that your diamond wood things like that and then you have to use them to like make things you know like craft uh, objects and stuff and I think you have to like craft as many objects as you can something like that but yeah, it looks like a pretty fun game, but um, I think I might sell this on, to be honest, on swaps and sales, because, uh, I don't know, I don't really have any other friends who will be geeky enough to play this with me. <laughs> but yeah, I've got these, and the figure set. Um, they wanted £4, and I said, well, you take three, and they took three, so that's alright. Three quid for both of them, not bad at all. Alright, what we got next? Oh yeah, I found a Super Mario DS case. That's really cool looking. This was only 50p as well. And I've actually been looking for a case um, to take my 2DS to and from uni. Because I play that. Oh, I've still got it in here as well. <laughs> I do have um, the special edition Pokemon Pikachu 2DS. So I, I kept this in there when I last went to uni. So it's yeah, very handy little uh, travel case. Really smart for just 50p as well. I'm really happy to pick that up. Because I've been after a, a DS case. Okay some games as well oh, I found this stall I saw like a big pile of, like Mega Drive games right and I rushed over to them and I picked all of them up I was like oh my god like because I didn't want any of like the collectors or the reseller to spot me like at the store so I thought oh my god I'll grab these straight away so no one else can grab them and then um, yeah I said to the woman I was like oh how much are you Mega Drive games and she was like oh if you look they're all labeled up and I was like oh my god like 
in the corners um yeah there was all labeled like eight ten fifteen pounds and yeah they were literally like ebay prices and i did not have that much money on me anyway but yeah i thought you know what i mean so annoying that there was all um priced up expensive i literally thought you know i thought i was gonna get lucky and maybe get them cheap but didn't happen <laughs> So, I did buy one game from this store though, she had a few uh, N64 games that were just a few quid each and, uh, and I didn't have this and it was only £3, I got Perfect Dark. I've never really looked into it, I don't know what it's about but I know it's like a pretty popular title, I've heard of it a lot. Um, I haven't had a chance to have a go on it yet but um, yeah, I picked that up for the N64 collection. What else did I find? Oh, I got an absolute bargain as well. So I do actually already have Uncharted Drake's collection 1, 2 and 3 for my PS4. So I've actually been after Uncharted 4. I almost got it in CX for £18 the other week, but I'm glad I didn't now. Because I chose, uh, I think I chose like Ratchet and Clank instead or something, instead of getting it. I found it at the car boot, mint condition, just a fiver the guy wanted. That's amazing as well. It just played it and completed it and, you know, that's it. It was literally like in almost brand new condition, so so happy to pick that up for a fiver and i've just literally remembered i've got to tell you the story on how i got it this is brilliant this is brilliant <laughs> okay so walking up to the store okay and i saw the reseller and he was holding it in his hand and i was like oh man yeah and i think the owner of the store it was like a couple it was a guy and a woman and i think there was two tables and i think that was all of theirs um so one table was already set up and the guy was already he was setting up like the other table next to it and he brought out this big bag of games and he was like, oh, I've got some games here. And then the reseller, he like dropped this back into the box and he was like, he kind of muttered like as he was running over to the carry bag, he was like, oh, I've got to be quick. And he, he rushed in front of me, like he ran in front of me so I couldn't get to the carry bag. He was like right in front of me. And this is why I kicked myself. Like as soon as I can afford it, guys, I will be investing in like maybe a GoPro session or something, you know, to like record the car boots. Like I really want to do that for you guys because so many other people do it and i really want to bring you that as well because i love watching um live car booting so i really want to do that for you guys as well it'd be so much fun and there were i keep coming across like these moments where they have to you know what i mean the them be there kind of moments and um oh, if you guys would have seen it so uh yeah he rushed in front of me and didn't give me a chance and then you know what i, w I was like nah fuck you man <laughs> and i went over and picked up the uncharted and i said to the the guy and the woman i was like oh how much did you want for this and he said a fiver so i was like yep pay for it <laughs> that was it okay so this is the part where i need to play they see me rolling they're hating <laughs> they see me rolling they hating <laughs> yeah i was a proper sly dog there but the guy deserved it okay he ran in front of me when i was trying to get to that carry bag full of games and yeah, the funniest thing is, like, he didn't find anything in the bag of games. It was all just, like, cheap common titles as well. And I grabbed the bargain, so that's karma right there, buddy. <laughs> okay, later on the cabot, I also saw Knack on the PlayStation 4. And they wanted a fiver for that, and I knocked it down to four quid. So I don't know if that's bad for four quid. I think uh, CEX saw this for eight quid. Um, it it doesn't look like a bad little game. It's one of the um, launch titles, I think, uh, for the PlayStation 4. So haven't had a chance to try it out yet, but it looks all right. It looks a fun little game. So four quid for a PS4 game. Can't go wrong. Okay, so I've got a couple of PS2 games for a quid. I actually picked up Devil May Cry because I didn't already have it. And um, I'm sure, wasn't this meant to be like Resi 4 or something? Like, wasn't there like... I'm sure there was like trying to design it or something and then it just ended up being, you know, like a different game, like a Devil May Cry. But yeah, it looks really good. And I've heard it's like one of the classic PS2 towers. So yeah, I'm looking forward to having a go on that. Let's try that out. What else did I get? Oh yeah, I found this game. It's a bit of an unusual one. Um, this was also a pound as well. Kengo Master of Bushido because uh, basically I've been after Bushido Blade on the PS1 I think there's two of them games Bushido Blade 1 and 2 and yeah obviously I saw Bushido and then I went on my phone and I googled like is it related to the Bushido Blade games and um, yeah it's kind of like related to them and stuff so I thought I'll pick it up because it does actually um, look like uh, like it's related to the Bushido Blade games as well uh, with those uh, katana swords I think yeah yeah, it looked pretty good anyway, so I thought I'll grab it because, you know, I think it's like related to the Bushido, so I'll grab that for just a quid. Okay, on to the next one. Right, I've got a couple of PS1 games from CX I've got in store, and I traded some things in towards them, and 
I've just been thinking like for the past minute, what did I even trade towards them? But, like my memory, I turned 24 last week, my memory is terrible. <laughs> but I think this was when, I just did like a little random trading in the week. I just looked at my games and I was like, come on, wh which ones are like useless? Like, come on, let's, let's buy some new games, you know? <laughs> And I traded in Diablo 3 on the Xbox One. I bought it years ago for like, I think it was about 25 quid or something years ago as well. And I got like, some like 13 pounds in store credit for it. And um, yeah, I just, I hadn't touched it like for at least a, a couple of years, a few years. Um, Cause I, I just couldn't like properly get into it. A couple of my mates from work uh, who were proper geeks were like playing it. But um, no, I, I couldn't like really get into the game to be honest. So. I thought it, it is just lying there doing nothing. I know I, I'm collecting games and stuff, but no, while it's there, like, you know, on my shelf, gathering dust, not doing anything. So I thought I'll put it towards some retro games or something. And I also traded in a few other games. I, I think there was just, there was literally just like useless PS2 games like Shrek the Third and things like that, um, that I just, you know, was not bothered about. So yeah, I ended up getting something like maybe about 18 pounds, I think, in store credit. And these games totaled £23, so I only have to pay out an extra five towards these. So, I got Metal Gear Solid, so I was buzzing with this. Uh, this was £15. And I know, like, maybe they might be a little bit pricey, but obviously it's only in-store credit from tradings that I got these with. It originally came without the um, Silent Hill demo, but I actually had it lying around because um, I got it from a best friend, Alex. So, I could slot my disc in there, that's where um, it originally was, so... The Silent Hill demo. It's got all like the manuals as well. It's all boxed and complete. Really nice condition. So yeah, happy to get the very first one. In all honesty, I did try and get into the second one years ago on PS2, but um, I could not get into it to be honest. I just got like completely lost. But the PS1 version, like that's my favourite. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love the PS1 version. So looking forward to playing through it again. I remember being amazed by the demo. And I also got, this is an absolute blast from my past, and it probably is for you guys, Toy Story 2. Absolute classic PlayStation 1 title. Let me know if that was one of your childhood classics. So yeah, it was all, all boxed and complete. I never buy them incomplete, to be honest. It's got a crack on the back of the case, but I can deal with that. Like, I'm, I'm not too fussy now, to be honest, because... I'll, I'll end up like just replacing the games at some point. So I've been playing through this and I've completed the first couple of levels and um, yeah, absolute banging game. It's an awesome Disney game for the PS1. Oh, I forgot to come back to these. The last couple of things I picked up at the car boot were a couple of McDonald's Sonic games. I actually don't know which this one is because this is from like another set of games, which I, I didn't know there were actually. Um, this set of games, as you can see on here, these are the ones which I used to have as a kid. I picked this one up and I think, to be honest, I'm not going to leave these sealed. I think after this, I'm probably going to end up um, opening them, to be honest, and having a go. Because, like, I really want to collect the rest of these Sonic games because they're, they're like nostalgia. Like, I used to love getting loads of Mackies for these toys. Um, I don't know where they all ended up, like, going years ago. But, um, yeah, I really want to, like, get the rest of them in these sets. And, I literally can't sit here and resist like not playing them so I am going to have to take these open very soon and have a go with them. I do believe that games are meant to be obviously opened and enjoyed to be honest so like I said I can't like sit here and resist like not playing them so they will get opened at some point. Okay so I have a swaps and sales um, deal to show you guys. Um, I'll show you a picture on screen. It's really bad quality um, because this is from the actual listing. The woman didn't have like a, a great quality photo but um yeah basically for 60 pounds she has a she had a nes console with two controllers and she had the zapper gun with duck hunt super mario brothers super mario brothers 3 ninja turtles the first one and joe and mac so even though i already had a nes console and i already had mario brothers i thought i will grab this and i'll trade in um, the things that I do have into CEX, um, obviously for a bit of profit, and I'll keep the things which I don't have. So, yeah, I bought that, and I'll show you guys the things which I kept. So, the NES console came with two controllers, and I actually kept one of the controllers, and um, so now that I have two myself, here is the Zapper gun. 
I seriously need an old style TV. I remember at one of my best friend's houses years ago when we used to have gaming nights that his dad's like, he had like this really big square, like old retro style TV and it was an absolute beast. And that's what I have in mind, what I'd love myself. So I'd really like to pick one up at some point. Because obviously you can't get the zapper guns working with like HD TVs and stuff. So I would really love like a retro TV for my retro games, things like that. So the games which obviously kept, I kept Joe and Mac, I kept the first Ninja Turtles. I haven't um, had a chance to try these out yet to be honest with you. Um, I've heard the second Ninja Turtles is amazing but I think this is the bad one but it's okay, it's just, you know, it's for the collection. <laughs> I'll pick up the second one when I can. I've also been meaning to pick up, um, is it Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time for the SNES? Um, because I saw James and Mike on the Cinematica channel play that and I thought that looked awesome as well. I think it's like the arcade game of the Ninja Turtles, that looks great. Super Mario Bros. 3 and that's literally meant to be the best Mario game on the NES. I think like a lot of people have that opinion and uh, I've had a little go of it and I think it's brilliant, really good. And then obviously for the Zappagon Duck Hunt, so I was really happy to pick those up. And yeah, I traded in the NES and uh, the Mario Brothers, the Super Mario Brothers, and uh, yeah, I'll tell you a little story what happened. I ended up getting £64 in store credit and it should not have been that much. So I got £43 in store credit for the NES console and I got £21 in store credit for the Super Mario Brothers. And it's because the guy scanned it as Mario Brothers. And he actually said to me, I was talking to another guy at the time, well, you know, like one of the staff, and like, as I was training, he said to me, he was like, it's the first one, right? And I was like, yeah. And honestly, I, I did not lie to him or anything. Like, I didn't realise there was a Mario Brothers out for it. Like, you know, just the first one. Like, not Super Mario Brothers. And I, I honestly didn't realise, and I thought he meant, is this the first Super Mario Brothers? So I should have only got £5 in store credit for that, but I ended up getting 21 so that was pretty crazy. So I don't know, I kind of feel a bit bad, but I, I literally did not know. I didn't know about the Mario Brothers before the Super one, to be honest. So with that money, I put that towards some in-store credit, which I already had. Because you know the Secret of Mana SNES cart that I bought? I think that's on my last pickup video. It actually turned out to be a German copy. Like after I'd done the pickups video, I went to try it out and stuff. And it was all like the menu and stuff it was all in german and i was like what the hell and um yeah it ended up being a german copy so um i went in store and then my mate who's the manager they sorted me out no problem so we got that all refunded for me and uh, gave me a, a credit voucher so i put that 48 pounds together with the 64 pounds and i also had a two pound 50 credit note because he refunded the postage as well which was good of him because i didn't want to have to pay the postage again so i put that towards I'm not telling you guys because it's going to be in the next pickup video. <laughs> I almost slipped out then. <laughs> nah, nah, you guys ain't know until the next pickups video. <laughs> so this has been a shorter pickups video this week, guys. It's not been as like insane as other weeks, but like you say, it's just like very unpredictable. Like some weeks you'll end up getting like absolute shitloads. <laughs> like sometimes I come back to my room with so much stuff, but yeah, other weeks it's like a little bit quieter like this week, but um. Yeah, I think I've still made some pretty decent pickups to show you guys, so I hope you guys have enjoyed, and honestly, thank you all for your comments and feedback. I, I do always comment back to you guys as soon as I can. I'm sorry if I'm sometimes delayed in commenting back to you guys, life just gets a bit hectic at times, but yeah, I love to try and consistently keep my pickups videos every week for you guys to show you what I get. So I hope you've enjoyed what's in this one. So once again, thank you so much for your guys' support. I really appreciate it so much. So it's my time to go and chill now. Because obviously I passed my driving test this morning. I've seen my family. Um, I've been able to give them good news. I've done my pickup video. So I'm off to chill and do some gaming. So I'll see you guys in the next pickups video. See you in a bit, guys.